Princess Serena, not Princess Serena. And today we're opening up my fourth pin in my Once Upon a Time pin series. This is Entering Oz and I better start cutting because me and cutting boxes do not have a great track record. So um, this is my fifth pin I've ever made, but fourth in the series that inspired this shirt, uh, Entering Storybrooke. This is Pinsos Productions. Like I wouldn't have been a fantasy pin creator without me wanting to make Once Upon a Time pins, cluster pins. Um, and it says established in 2022. It's already 2024, it's already been two years. This one, extra exclusive. I actually only made 20 of them this time around. Here we go. I'm gonna unroll these. I am so excited. The colors on this pin, at least from the photo, look the most vibrant out of any of my pins in this series so far. Um, so this is the second pin that I'm doing in season three. So the second half, because um, the first was Neverlands. But uh, yeah, so my fifth pin in this series is gonna be Frozen, which is only season four. My sixth pin will still only be season four, the second half, so. It's, yeah, I have, there's seven seasons, so there's a lot to go. Um, but yeah, Entering Oz, Princess Productions, LE20. Um, yeah, and there's three pin posts for extra protection. Okay, I'm gonna look at the pin. I feel like last time I showed you the pin before me, so this time I'm gonna have a moment. This princess has to have a moment with her production. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, the different shades of green. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> oh, and it's actually so fitting that I'm making this pin in 2024 because the new Wicked movie, because if you don't know, this is the Wicked Witch um, from Wizard of Oz, but you know, in Once Upon a Time universe. But Wicked, the Broadway play, which is kind of a midquel, I would say, as of The Wizard of Oz. It's mostly prequel, but then it goes a little bit during and after the events um, of the original movie. But yeah, you see the yellow brick road, which you don't have to have seen this show to uh, understand some of the references here with the tornado and the little birds. And ah, so Regina, my favorite character, finally returned after a long hiatus. A shoe is not on my third pin. I had to be unbiased and realize, take a breath and say, okay, she is not within the main six characters of that part of the show, like the six most important, prominent ones within the storyline. Um, but she absolutely is front and center here with Zelina, her sister. Literally at this point, like they're just all family photos, <laughs> family clusters. <laughs> Everyone is related to everyone. Like every twist ever is just like, you're my dad, you're my nephew, you're my sister. It is a wild show. It's honestly like a soap opera, but like Disney-ified and like the plot, the characters are there. Favorite show, love it. But yeah, we finally have Robin up here on a pin and he has Regina's heart, not because he's gonna break it, but because he's protecting it and she's allowing him to hold her heart and she hasn't allowed anyone to love her since Daniel, right? Before her mother messed that up for her. And you have Zelina with gold dagger as well, just because uh, he's under her spell a bit. Like, you know, whoever has uh, the dark one's dagger could control the dark one. Even though it always is a cluster of six, like they're always slightly in a different position. Like, yeah, you have two in the front, but sometimes they're right next to each other or there's something in between them or in the back, like the three aren't necessarily right next to each other. There could be a thing like, so for this one, like it's the three right next to each other. And then there's more, room for the background to shine on this side and I have other ones with the backgrounds more in the middle or in the middle of the back and yeah so it makes them all unique but very cohesive and with every pin it just makes me appreciate each pin in the series even more because you know it's like it goes together but you see all of the little details that are like all the new little nuances and details and color schemes and characters that go with that part of the show, right? Down to the outfits, like all of these outfits, the actors actually wore, like their characters wore 
during that part of the season, right? And I picked my favorite ones from that part. And it's just so much fun to collaborate with my artist, Micah. I love you. We know this. Uh, and I love Zelina's necklace and the screen printing details on that and the, and the dagger. And I, I say it every time and I think this is my favorite, but I don't know. I have to, they're all unique. Even the color schemes really match that part of the show, right? Uh, I'm so excited. And the next one is going to be so different because it's going to be lots of blues and whites, right? Because of Frozen. Um, but yeah, that's it for my beautiful fantasy pin unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more pin related content from me. Now I'm going to insert a photo of all four of them together. Like, how good does that look? Even though I didn't put it yet, I know I'm gonna be like tearing up. I'm serious, like, so good. But I would love to know who your favorite character on this pin is, or if you haven't seen the show and you're still watching, first of all, thank you. <laughs> and just what's your favorite detail and part of this pin? If you're just admiring it for the art itself and not necessarily what it represents, um, let me know, I'm very curious. And as always, take care of yourselves and have a magical day. But remember, all magic comes with a price, dearie. <laughs> Bye.